Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start the video. This is week 5 assignment of problem solving through programming in C course. Friends, I hope every question is 100% correct. But if you want to suggest me any changes regarding the solutions, you can please ask me in the comment section. So let us uh, give the best solution to our viewers. But I think every solution is 100% correct according to me. Please watch the video till the end because if I make any changes in between the video or if I explain anything uh, you may not be able to note those changes. So please watch full video for better understanding. So let's see the first question. The continuous statement in C is used to. So for what we use continuous statement? So we use to stop the current iteration and begin the next iteration from the beginning so it means we will just skip the current iteration and the remaining iterations will continue so the correct answer for first question is third option option C and moving on to the second question the second one the operators the left shift and right shift operators these are shift operators so for second question the answer is bitwise shift operators so mark fourth option option d as correct answer for second question and moving on to the third question so guys here they have given a program so they are asking to find the output of this so for this third question, the correct answer that I have got when I executed on the compiler is third option that is C 5 comma 5 and moving on to the fourth question. So here they are asking how many times the word hello will be printed while executing the below C code so in order to find that they have given us a code so they are asking to find the output how many times the hello is printed so when I did this I have got the answer as 5 times the hello that means mark option C as correct answer for fourth question and moving on to the next one that is fifth question so similar type again they have given a code they are asking the output so when I did this I have got both true and false so mark option C as correct answer for fifth question For fifth question the answer is option C and moving on to the sixth one guys before that I want to once again show you the first five question answers so for fifth one option C fourth one also option C and for third question also option C and for second question option D and for first question again option C so let's go to the sixth question so this is the sixth one they are asking to find the output of the following C program so they have given a C code and they are asking to find the output so for sixth question the correct answer is option D compilation error so mark option D as correct answer for 6th question. Guys, do you know why we have got compilation error here? Because here the break statement is not used in the inside the loop. Within the loop, we should use this break statement. Here it is if is not a loop. if is a control statement it is not a looping statement so 
so it is not an iterative statement so here use, usage of break is not possible so that that's why we have got compilation error and moving on to the seventh question how many times the word hello will be printed in the below c code similar question is asked before on, before also so for this seventh question when i did this in my compiler so i have got the answer for seventh question just one time that is option a is the correct answer for seventh question and moving on to the eighth one so again similar type of question they are asking to find how many times the word hello is printed and they have given a code for that to find so for eighth question when i did this i have got the answer as six times the hello that means the option c is correct that is six times so for eighth question the answer is c and moving on to the ninth question so once again they have given the code and they are asking to find the output so for ninth question when i did this i have got the answer for ninth one as option b 2 so mark option b as correct answer for ninth question guys if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section i'll try to reply for the valid queries you can also suggest me some changes if there are so let uh, let's see review the questions and you can i can give you the final answer i hope every solution is 100 percent correct and let's move on to the 10th question what is the output of the following c program so they have given a c program they are asking the output so for 10th question when i did this i have got no output that means option c is correct answer for 10th question so friends these are the solutions for week 5 problem solving through programming in c questions i will also do a video on programming assignment and also for uh, week 4 course video you can also view the nptl playlist of my channel so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends so before the submission once again visit the comment section to note if there are any changes so for further more videos like this keep supporting our channel until then it's goodbye thank you